Hello my crafty friends, Lisa here. I know it's been a minute or two at least. I've got an upcoming studio class to share with you. This is going to be the 18th of November and I'm going to just jump in and show you the project and then I'll tell you all about the details at the end of the end of what I have to show you. So flip-flop journals seem to be the rage right now. I've done them a different way and I actually created this years ago so i dug out my prototype kind of resized it a little bit and made it a little bit simpler to create so here's my version of a flip flop journal so i've got a nice big eyelet here in the back holding the elastic which is adjustable so as your book gets a little bit bigger you can let things out a little bit kind of like uh, you know letting the seams out <laughs> so i use that stamp here is voyages and fantastiques for this really fun steampunk imagery this was really fun to work with and really challenging because some of the images were so large so I tried to find some creative ways to use these within the book so there's lots and lots of places to tuck things in with the tags and cut aparts that were part of this collection I've got just a little bit of embellishing on the pages here a little bit of stamping I didn't want to go crazy because this really is meant to be used and used as far as you putting your own things inside the pages of this really fun journal so there's a paper bag right here we all love the sounds of these glassine type things uh, and it just holds some extras you know bits and pieces that didn't get used up so those just pop right in there really fun imagery right here on the front a little more stamping some aged tape this is a flip out page that i put a little pocket on right here and tags that can just pop right into the pocket nice blank space maybe for some photos or some movie theater tickets or some receipts or you know whatever you'd like to attach right there i do have a few things clipped to the page with one of the little mini tim holtz paper clips there fun fun train isn't he cool i love the wings on the train here he was super cool uh, pocket right here so lots of places to tuck things a little more stamping let's just no I can't put that one there but this one goes in this the other end of that paper bag there's actually two two tags here there was a lot of these to cut out at the paper so there you'll see a lot of them throughout the book so the other side of the bag and I just did a little bit of collaging on it at the end when I had all the little scraps on my table so some age tape and some really fun ways to age up the paper that we're going to go through in class in the studio this flips over again more aging here nice big pocket right here for the cut aparts that are in this collection uh, another tag right here so fun 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 balloon imagery this is probably my favorite right here i've got some aged tape going on right here nice big pocket again for the things that were part of the paper collection so you've got lots of pockets to tuck in your own things whatever that may be receipts or a menu or maybe you take this traveling this really does kind of have a, a travel theme to it with the balloons and the train a little more stamping this is an envelope that I made out of the cover sheet so actually the back page right here and so it's a floating envelope however you could absolutely glue it to a page I made it the size of a page so that you could glue it down if you wanted to so again more little more little things and this just opens up and you can see that I used the back of that and I just lined the flap right here so I like to use every bit every little bit of everything here's the other side of that paper bag he isn't he fun he is just adorable so more paper to write draw stamp collage cut apart out of the paper and maybe you have a different way you want to use all of the cut aparts and the tags and things and and you know your own ideas that's always wonderful more tags these are cut out of the cover sheet the front cover sheet this one here I hate throwing the images away so I try to use them up and more often than not they become tags they just lend themselves well to that 
So here they go in the pocket. And then it flips over this way and you've got more, more pages. More cut aparts and another pocket here. This is just super cool, super, super cool. This opens up. I think this would be really fun to put, use your circle punch and punch out some photos of your kids or uh, wherever it is you're traveling, you know, maybe selfies. This would be a great spot to put that. I think that would be really fun with a circle punch. So more places to put photographs and stamp and draw and write. Again, a little, little bit of stamping, not much. And then there's a nice big envelope right in the middle of this signature here in the back. Uh, I wanted a place to put a lot of things. So this is really, really big. It will hold a lot of stuff. So if you decide that this is going to be a travel journal, you'll have a place to put lots of stuff in there. Again, more pages, little pocket, and here's a little notepad I made out of the paper scraps. And I just embossed the little paper bag. More paper, and this guy right here, oh, isn't he fun? He is just so cool. The image was large, and I had to figure out a way to use him. So what I did was I made him a flip out. But I also made it a pocket. So there is a pocket right here underneath this image so that I could use it. Otherwise, I, I didn't want to cut into him. He was just too cool. So that's what I decided to do. And there's a clock with another little paper clip there and leftovers from the paper just tucked into this little back pocket right here. And there's the last page and another pocket back here. So that is my version of a flip flop journal. Again, this particular project will be the 19th, 18th of November. Sorry, it's the 18th. This is Saturday, and it's the Saturday before Thanksgiving. A non-refundable deposit will be required to reserve your spot within this class. Uh, the class fee is $55. The deposit will be $20. And this book will be at the upcoming Shadle Craft Show. That will be November 4th and 5th. Saturday, the time is 9 to 5 at the high school, and then Sunday, it's 10 to 3 at the Shadal High School. So you can come and see and get your hands on it and flip through it and talk to me there about, you know, coming and doing this project. Your supplies for this project are going to be really, really simple and minimal scissors, scoreboard, you know, paper trimmer, that kind of thing. And everything that you see here will be supplied to you in your class kit and is part of your class fee. So there you have it. It's the upcoming class, November 18th. Mark it on your calendar. I do have limited seating available, so please don't wait to reserve your spot. And I can't wait to see all of you back in the studio again. So make sure that you get a hold of me. And if you have any questions at all, zip me an email, instant message, phone call, text. You know I'm always here to answer your questions and I'm always here to help.